What's up, motherfuckers? Bitches? Bastards? Fucks? Okay? Fucking pieces of shit! <laughs> Sick and tired of it. It's like, anybody not, like, following my channel for many years, someone across my videos would just be like, this guy just yells at his fans, man. He's just a goddamn motherfucking lunatic. <laughs> What's up, bitches? Surprise motherfucking Wednesday stream, not giving a fuck, dude. I was like, yeah, it's Wednesday. I do what I want. And so I decided to fucking stream. So I'm addicted to this fucking Crimson Land, man. I can't even believe it. What's up, bitches? Yeah, let me tell you about them waffle hoes. There's all kinds of hoes out there. All kinds of hoes. I'm gonna be talking about a hoe on this stream here in a little bit. Fucking stupid ass hoes, man. Because they wouldn't be hoes if they didn't do whorish things. I mean, that's just what whores do. I mean, I mean, it wouldn't be a whore if they didn't do those things. You know? So that's just what happens. So let's get on this game. So I beat, like, the... I beat the fucking quest mode, which is just basically this. You know, but, you know, not much else. Um, yeah, and like I said, you know, whores, whores have their fucking uses. I mean, I, I got what I wanted, so fuck it. You know what I mean? And I've had a lot of people, uh, a lot of people have asked me, um, why I took that other stream down. And, it, it, yeah, I, I got sick of that fucking bitch, man. I was like, nah, I'm fucking done with this shit. Because, you know, I'll just get right into it. I've, you know, I've known that girl for many years now and you guys can't hear me right <laughs> i don't want to do the stream and it's just like yeah i'm robbed I, I couldn't hear nothing it was just nothing but just really loud music <laughs> apparently he's bitching about somebody on there though but you guys can tell me if you can hear me or not i turned the fucking audio on the game way fucking down so sound fine but yeah, you know, you know she, she's just one of those girls that comes into my life every now and then and, you know, tries to disrupt, disrupt my shit. And, you know, it, it's to the point where she's not coming back in. And it's over. It's done. Um, I know she's probably going to be listening to the stream, and, that, and that's just it. There are no, no, no more chances. There are no more, no more hanging out, even speaking your name. I'm not even going to speak your fucking name because it's, it's fucking done, man. No more. And people like her, you know, I need to just cut out of my life just fucking entirely, man. You know what I mean? Like, and it's one of those things where, you know, she, I, I really did like this girl at one time. You know, like, we dated back in the day, and she can be really fucking cool. But her fucking problem is, is that she's goddamn lazy. Um, she doesn't want to fucking do nothing. She, if, if you just carried her around everywhere, she would like that. I mean, that would be her ideal thing. If she'd have to move, you know what I mean? Like, if you could, if you could just sit back and have her mouth open, and you could just like toss food in her mouth, and then you know, bring her in, bathe her. She don't want to do none of that, man. Okay, so you know, if you did all those things for her, you'd be your best fucking friend. But see, here's the problem: I ain't fucking doing that. And she fucking knows it. And once again, she comes back into my life trying to be like, Oh, well, I'm dating this fucking piece of garbage right now who I'm taking advantage of. And because um, she, what she does is she gets with these guys and she just fucking leeches off. Like she leeches off to onto their bodies and just sucks all the blood out of them. So like this, it's like a f t t fucking 200 pound leech. You know, fucking hanging off somebody. And that's what she does. And she was telling me about this new leech. This new guy that she's leeching off of. And it's like... You know, I'm hearing her tell me these things about how this guy's a loser. And how, you know, he's... She's just taking advantage of him. Using him for money. And fucking just milking this guy clean and everything. And fucking... All I had to hear was that she got a tongue ring. And I was like, okay, come over. And I was like, right, come show me this tongue ring. <laughs> So, you know, I made the mistake of uh, letting her back in my house. But, you know, she was not going to do anything with the tongue ring unless we streamed. So I streamed, so there you have it. And like I said, 
you know, it's one of those things where this girl's never going to get her fucking shit together. She's just never going to get her shit together, man. She says she changed. She's never going to change. I've met people like her so many times in my life that it's just absolutely insane, man. People like her do not change. You know, she's got two fucking kids, doesn't have custody of both of them. And she tries to fucking say that, you know, try to tell me, like, I got problems or something, you know what I mean? Like, like don't even fucking start. I've been nothing but nice to you. You just want to fuck with, fuck with me. And like I said, she'd be totally cool with me if I fucking, you know, if I wiped her ass for her and did everything for her. Like, she was telling me about this guy. He's fucking like, I, oh, I'm, gonna ha I'm just going to keep talking to him just so I can keep milking him for money and all this shit. And I, I knew what she was doing. I was just like, whatever. I'm like, just suck my dick at least, you know? I mean, <laughs> if you're going to come in my fucking life again, at least get something out of it, because that's about it. And, you know, it's just not to be fucking trusted, man. And it's just, it's like, whatever. But like I said, you know, she can be a good person, but most of the time, she's just fucking not. And like I said, so, I, you know, I let her back in, and then, you know, we're hanging out and shit, and she just fucking, you know, decides to fucking be a jerk for no fucking reason, and... Start being like, oh, well, you know, if we get back together, you know, can we get an apartment and shit? I'm like, yeah, well, you're going to have to work more than 30 minutes a fucking week in order to do that. And you could just see it on her face like, oh, my God, I got to do stuff. I don't want to do stuff. Oh, man. You know, she, she yeah, if we could get a two bedroom apartment. I could pay for all of it. I mean, that would be awesome. She'd love that. And, you know, she don't have to fucking do anything. But, I'm, but she knows with me, she ain't gonna fucking, she ain't gonna pull that shit. I'm not gonna be like this dude that she's with that's just gonna fucking pay for her shit. You know, I even got the text messages to fucking prove it. You know, she's just fucking taking advantage of this guy. I guess she's, he's buying her like a, something for a baby or something, something for a kid, like a, one of those kid cages or some shit. I don't know what the fuck it was. Something for the, for the steps or something. I don't fucking know. But... She, she knows I'm not going to fucking put up with it, man. And it's just like, whatever. I'm not even going to be upset about it this time because I knew it was going to happen. This is the this is the second time within a year she's done this. You know, she's come in, in and out of my shit. And it's like, whatever. Done. Over with. You can't even take a dick anyways. She can't even take a dick. <laughs> Only girl I've ever been with to ever fucking tap out in like 10 fucking minutes. Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. I need longer than that. I'm fucking, she's going nuts, and I'm just like, I don't work that way. I ain't the way it works. You know what I mean? And she was not fat. You know, she's not a fat girl. She's not unattractive. She's a, you know, she's cool. She can be cool, but it's just, you know, she decides to not be cool, and she decides to be, you know, ridiculous. And uh, wants to blame everybody else in her life for her fucking problems, you know? Wants to hate her mom and all this other stuff, and her mom's the one taking care of her fucking kid. So, how are you gonna hate your mom? Your mom's doing what you should be doing. You know? So I'm fucking done. You can just leave me alone. I, I don't wanna fucking deal. I'm not dealing with it anymore. You know what I mean? I, I met this... I met this girl through a guy that I couldn't even fucking stand, so I don't know what would give me the idea that his ex-wife would be, you know, any fucking better, but, you know, I, I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. It's just like, I, I just don't see why it's so hard, you know what I mean, to get a fucking job that fucking pays halfway decent and fucking do your shit, you know, get your license, do grown-up things, you know? People gotta drive. We don't live in a big city. If you don't have a car, guess what? You're putting people out. That means they gotta take you everywhere. That means they gotta pick you up. That means they gotta drop you off. Okay? And however nice people act about doing those things, it gets on your goddamn nerves after a while. You know? It gets to the point, hey, buy me this, buy me this, buy me this. Okay? What the fuck? It gets to the point where a dick sucking ain't gonna fucking cut it. You know, I ain't fucking doing it anymore, man. You need a fucking break. You know, you can't fucking, you can't go buy a $5 pack of cigarettes? Get your fucking shit together, man. I don't wanna fucking hear it. Just using people for fucking money, man. I just got done with another fucking girl like that. That I met on fucking POF. 
fucking asking me, oh, give me $40. I think I told you guys about that. Oh, give me $40 to suck my dick. I even told her that story, and she's acting like, oh, that's terrible. Yeah, she's a heroin addict. Yeah, she's a piece of shit, and this and that, and the other thing. And I'm like, I'm like, well, you just take advantage of people, too. I mean, that's just what you do. You know, you just come into my shit and just, you know, trying to, trying to play games with fucking people all the time. You know, I, you, you got you got a Facebook and your block list on your Facebook, it has more people on it than your friends list. So, I mean, what's that fucking tell you? You know, man, oh yeah, it's other people's fault. It's other people's faults, man. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not, it's not my fault. You know, I mean, I'm not the fucking problem. It's everybody else. You know, she can get guys to fucking believe anything. You wouldn't even fucking believe it, man. The story she's told me about the dude she's ripped off and shit? Like, give me a fucking break. Just bold-faced fucking lies. Like, who the fuck, who's the fuck's gonna believe that shit? I mean, I'm not fucking stupid. When we dated, I knew what she was fucking doing. I'm not fucking stupid. I just didn't even care. Up to a certain point. You know, you can only have your fucking balls ran over with a goddamn car so many times before you can't fucking feel it anymore. So, you know, fuck it. So, yeah, that's why I took the fucking stream down, because I don't want to fucking... I don't want to fucking hear about it anymore, man. I'm just sick and tired of it, man. Are there any girls that are, like, halfway fucking decent out there? Like, holy fucking hell. You know, it's not really asking for much. W what am I even asking for here, man? Okay, a girl who's not a fat slob that goes to work every day and has a car. Okay, I'll throw the car in as a cherry on top. Yeah, it doesn't even really have to have a car, okay? We can get past that. That is, that's a problem. We live in the boonies half the time. You know, everything is surrounded by boonies. Okay, so there's going to be some driving going down. You can't just walk to places here. And so we can get past that. But a job would be nice. You know what I mean? And I don't want to hear about this. Oh, I'm going to work 30 fucking minutes this week. That's not going to cut it. Okay. Are we going to get an apartment and I'm going to pay $800 and then you can pay 25 cents? Okay, that's fair. That's totally fucking fair. Let's do that. You know what I mean? Saying that all... I'm not affectionate enough. Well, you're hacking up a lung. Okay, she's literally got a lung cup sitting here. She's got a fucking lung butter cup filled up with her mucus. Hacking up. She sounds fucking terrible. Fucking sick as a dog. She's got a fucking loogie cup that's half full. We're talking big gulp here, people. Okay, she's farting and burping and about to puke all over herself. And she wants me to fucking cuddle up with her? What? It's like, what the fuck? I mean, I did my best, but I mean, I got fucking limits. I'm a grown-ass man. Okay, I don't want fucking vomit on me. I mean, what the fuck? God damn it, man. I can handle the smoking. The smoking ain't no big deal because I'll smoke a cig. I don't give a fuck. Okay? I'm crazy like that. But at the same time, you know, when I come home from work and the entire apartment sound is just completely fucking filled up with fucking cigarette smoke, well, you know, that's a fucking problem. You know, women never fucking change, man. That shit has been happening to me. Well, I'm, what, 30 now? And I've met a couple, you know, halfway decent girls here and there, but they are fucking uh, few and far between, my friends. But it's whatever, you know. I'm supposed to have a date on Sunday. I'm going to go see that Rogue One joint. And uh, I heard that's it's dandy. I've got a gym dandy on our hands here. I am so cold, people. I'm, like, shaking. I'm so fucking cold. It's colder than a mofo up in this bitch. But yeah, it is what it is, man. You know, I, I wish her the best. And, you know, I hope she can find somebody that's that'll put up with that forever. You know what I mean? Like, it, if you can find somebody that'll just take care of it, because that's what she wants. You know, that's what a lot of these bitches want. A lot of these bitches just want to be taken care of, man. And it's cool. Like, go go do that. There, there are some girls that have just told me that straight up. They're like, I want to be taken care of. I'm like, well, you're a fucking loser. I was like, you, I was like, you want to live like that? I mean, what kind of what kind of life is that? Like... You don't have nothing unless your man gets it for you? Is that the way you want to be? Okay, and then you want to talk about equal rights and all this shit? It doesn't fucking work both ways. You got to put in your fucking 
but she's totally fine with putting in like three and a half percent and i'll give it to her man you know she bought me a pizza i didn't have to buy food after work you know gave her some dick and that got her to clean the apartment for me too so i got my apartment a little bit cleaner because I, I mean i am messy i have problems i'm not fucking perfect you know i'm messy as a motherfucker you know, I don't give a fuck. You know, I don't live with nobody. This is my place. It's fucking messy. She comes in here. Oh, this is messy. Oh, where you look at your sink? Oh, blah, 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 blah. I was just like, who cares? I don't fucking care. The only one seeing it's me. Okay, and of course I'm not going to clean it for you because I know you're not going to fucking stay. You're just going to fucking take off. It's what you do. So what the fuck do I care, man? I'll take a dump on the floor. Clean it up. Give a fuck. You know, so it's whatever at this point, man. I, I try to be so fucking nice to that girl. That I, I just, I cannot, I can't fucking do it no more. You know, I mean, Jesus Christ. You know, you try, you, you, you take care of somebody. And let me, let me fill you guys in, you know, like it, it runs pretty fucking deep. You know, we're talking like, okay, this girl's fucking, back in the day I knew her, she's homeless. And I give her a place to stay. And she would be living in the streets if I didn't give her a place to stay. And she's cheating on me when I'm at work. Uh, sending dudes naked pictures while she's in the fucking shower. And just downright nasty shit. Tells me she's living with this girl that she knows, but she's actually living with a, a different guy fucking this dude. Um, fucks the ex-husband when I was with her. Um, just fucking nasty shit, man. Just something you, would, you wouldn't do to your, your worst enemy, you know what I mean? And it's just like, what did I do to deserve that, you know what I mean? Like, you'd be in the streets, you'd be sucking dicks for nickels. If I didn't give you a place to stay, and you're using that as an opportunity to fucking cheat on me? You know, like, and it's just one of those things, and I'm a very forgiving person, you know what I mean? I'm a very forgiving person, I'll forgive you... You could do pretty much anything except shoot me in the fucking heart and kill my ass. And I'll fucking forgive you, man. You know what I mean? If Alpha was to get in the stream right now and fucking apologize and tell me that he was fucking wrong and what he did at that fucking con was wrong and that he fucking did me wrong, I would accept that apology and I wouldn't talk about Alpha anymore. But he ain't gonna fucking do that. And okay? And neither is, and neither is this girl gonna fucking say what she's fucking doing is bullshit. So... You know, it's whatever. I was willing to give her another chance, man. I'm, you know, somebody tells you that she they got their shit together so many times, you hope that they finally do, you know what I mean? You, you, you look back at the good times, and we had some good times, and as you guys saw, I mean, she's got skills, man. I mean, she can rock the fucking shit, you know? She, I mean, she can, she can play games. She can fucking do this and that. I mean, she, she has the potential to do these things, but she just chooses not to. You know, like, she needs to do certain things, and she just will not do them. You know, or, I mean, you can't tell me the only job you can find is one, a job where you're working a three-hour shift on a Tuesday. And then you have two days off, and then you work a four-hour shift. I mean, give me a fucking break, man. Homeless people on the side of the street begging for money, you're making more money than that. You know, and you can't be okay with that. You're just trying to skim by. You're trying to just... You know, you're trying to do the, the, the least amount possible to fucking get by. You want everybody else to fucking pick up your slack. And it's like, whatever, man. I'm glad you found somebody that's going to pick up that slack. Because I ain't going to fucking do it. And I made it, evident, I made it evident that I was not doing that. You know what I mean? I mean, we. it's like, whatever, man. And, like, I was going to even be friends with her. And she decides to fucking... When, when, she, when she leaves, like, oh, we're talking, and then she's acting all fucking weird, you know, and I'm like, oh, so what, are you gonna disappear for another two fucking years? And she's fucking walking out, I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'll see you in another two years, or whatever. I knew what she was gonna fucking do. And then, blocks me on fucking Facebook, she t tells me, oh, we can be friends, blah, 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 blocks me on Facebook. Just so I can't see her with, with this dude that I could give a rat's ass that she's with. So, you know, you can do whatever you want. I mean, Jesus Christ. You know, I've, I've fucked four girls this year, this year, bitches. Four girls. Okay, and one of them was real fucking hot. So, I don't give a fuck. No fucks given. Regression bullets.
<laughs> I'm like, I'm like spending like half the stream in these pick a perk menus because I just fucking get to talking and shit. You know, I, like I said, man, I wish you the best. You know, if you know, you can just do whatever you want to do, but just leave me out of it. There ain't no more chances. There ain't no more. I've changed. There ain't no more. You know, any, ain't no more. None of that. Okay, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear about these losers that you get with that beat the shit out of you and strangle you and smash your glasses and how your one dude, your, your, your baby daddy's in prison, okay? Okay, and this other dude is just a little child who follows you everywhere and even into the bath. She's like, oh, this motherfucker will follow me into the bathroom. He doesn't even trust me going in the bathroom. I'm like, oh, yeah, well, you should definitely get back with him then. I mean, he totally sounds, you know, completely right in the head and everything. You guys, you should, guys, you know, should definitely get together. You know, tell me, oh, I'm just, yeah, man, I'm getting so much out of him, and just, I think she rates relationships on how much she can get out of a person, you know what I mean? And for me, I'm not doing it, man, I'm not, I'm not paying for your way, like, what the fuck? You know, why should anybody have to fucking do that? You know, and that's, that's the way it was when we dated the first time, okay? You want, you want to know why I wasn't loving and all cuddly with you? Okay, because I leave for work... And you're sitting there on, your, on the fucking bed reading a book or on your phone. And I come back after 10 hours at my work and you're still sitting in the same goddamn spot. So, oh man, I can't, I can't figure out why I would be mad about that. Okay, no idea. Is the house clean? No. Okay, did you do the dishes? No. Is there a pile of snot rags that's three feet high next to your fucking, next to the bed? Yeah. Can't throw them in the trash, but I'll throw them on the floor. But I'm the bad guy, though, man. It's me. Okay? It must be a problem on my end. Because that's the way the world fucking works. Okay? Nothing's ever your fault. Okay? Nothing's ever your fault. Both your kids were taken away for no fucking reason. It wasn't your fault at all. It wasn't your fault at all. Yeah, and your mom's just a jerk. Yeah, she's coming down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, well, your daughter wouldn't have nowhere to go without your fucking mom. So, you know, I think your mom's doing what she needs to fucking do. So, you know, that's just the way it is. Because I'm fucking done. Never fucking seen anything like it in my entire fucking life. And even my brother was telling me, man, my brother's just like, don't talk to her, dude. Don't get back into it. I'm like, she's going to suck you back in with a tractor beam. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm like, you know, I'm like, doesn't a person eventually change? I mean, isn't her hope? You know, and he's just like, no, nah, dude. He's just like, no. Nah. Some people just never change. You know, and then that, that truer words have never been spoken. Because that's just the way it is, man. You know? I, it's just like, whatever, man. If that's the way you want to be, never again. Never again. My brother has my back. And I fucking, you know, and I've, my brother got so pissed at me when I was dating her back in the fucking day. And he's like, he's like, dude, she's cheating on you all the time. She's just treating you like shit. I'm like, you don't fucking deserve it. You know, you're a good guy. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't fucking hurt these girls. You don't fucking, you're not, you're not, you don't treat them bad, okay? You, you give them a roof over their fucking goddamn retarded heads, you know? Drive them everywhere because, you know, they can't drive themselves, okay? Two steps away from feeding them with a, like, fucking making he airplane noises when I'm feeding you your Gerber fucking food? I mean, how, how much more do I gotta fucking do for you? When is it enough? Okay? Forgive, I forget, I can forgive all that shit, okay, but I, I ain't gonna fucking, I ain't gonna fucking forgive you trying to act like it, it, it's me in any capacity, because it ain't fucking me, period, and every single fucking person, 98 people up in this bitch will tell you the exact same thing, okay, 97, because she's probably listening, so, eat a fucking dick, done with it. You know, I'm about to fucking just... I'm telling you, man. These fucking crazy, crazy ass bitch. Have you ever seen anything like this in your entire life, man? Like, like what the fuck? Like, get your fucking shit... I mean, are, are you ever gonna fucking grow up? Okay? Fucking Jesus.
25 years old. You might just fucking still wear a diaper. Okay? Fucking Jesus. Yeah, that's why the stream's titled the way it is, man. Because it's just like, at a certain point, you get sick and tired of getting treated like shit. You know? Like, I mean, how many... How, much, how nice can you fucking be to a person? How good can you treat a person? How much stuff can you buy a person? And, and then they still go behind your back. When you're not around. Can't even do it to your face. That's what they do to you. Doesn't matter how many fucking how, how many times you got them out of the shit, okay? Like my fucking one ex, I got her out of fucking jail, okay? Didn't have to do that, but I spent an entire fucking Saturday talking to bail bondsmen's, okay? Because they don't want to fucking get you out because you've already been put in there one time before for some stupid nonsense, the same nonsense. Okay, but you fucking do it again. So now bail bondsmen don't want to have anything to fucking do with you. But I still got you out that fucker, motherfucker. Because I didn't want you to be in fucking jail. Okay. Saved your fucking job. And what do I get out of it? Okay, what do I get out of it? Not much. Okay, a bunch of shit. As usual. You know, I might be silent rob on this bitch, man. But when I'm out of here, you know, I... Yeah, I, I get pussy, bitches, okay? Yeah. You know, I do these things that I say I do. But I'm a fucking gentleman, motherfuckers, because that's the way you should treat a fucking girl. You know, like, I, you, you treat them good, they treat you good. That's my fucking philosophy, you know? Uh, maybe it doesn't work that way anymore. Um, you know, what the fuck? You know, give, give a girl your coat, and then she wipes her, her fucking ass with it. That's what you get out of life now. You know, I'll fucking open a door for a bitch. I don't give a fuck. Okay, do I want a girl hanging off of me at all hours of the day? No, I don't. Okay, when we're watching a movie or something, want to cuddle? Yeah, we can get on that shit. Okay, when we're sleeping? Yeah, want to sleep. Do you need to be attached to my body like a goddamn Siamese twin? No, nobody wants that. Okay, that's called being clingy. Okay? Motherfuckers. Like, oh. Has the audacity. This girl has the audacity to watch TV in my apartment all day long using my fire stick. Okay? Waiting for me to get home from work. Has the audacity that when I get in, when I get home and start eating pizza and want to watch something on the TV, she has the audacity. To be like, oh, I don't want to watch this, and we need to watch this, and we need to do this. I'm like, are you fucking out of your mind? You just sat in one spot, coughing up loogies all over my fucking bed, watching my fire stick with my electricity, and my heat, and my food, and mine, 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 mine. And you're going to say, I can't watch what the fuck I want to watch after I just worked all fucking day to provide these things? Okay? Welcome to the real world. Give me the remote. Doesn't work that way. You still didn't even clean up half your fucking loogie rags. Coughing, spitting, farting, and fucking fucking up my shit. Okay? But nah, it's my bad. Yeah. Oh, it's you. Problems here. Problems... Are you fuck? Get the fuck out my shit, man. I didn't even chase after her. She fucking left before I went to work. And like negative 37 de motherfucking degrees outside. I was like, you can walk. I ain't bringing you nowhere. Okay? You're fucking nasty shit. I swear to God, if I, if I go in that motherfucking room and there's a goddamn loogie cup sitting in there, man, shit's gonna get real. Cause I ain't fucking I deal. She's not feeling good, so uh, oh, it's so tough in these streets. It's so tough in these streets. I don't feel good. Okay, yeah, I don't feel good either. Know what I did? I went to work. Okay, had to go to work. Had to make the money. You know, that's life, bitches. Okay, you can walk. Bringing you nowhere. Okay, go get your other boyfriend to come pick you up. Because I know you're talking to him like I'm a fucking idiot. 
you know she wants to keep these guys all on on the line so you know when she doesn't have a place to go and all this different shit um she can call you up okay and then you know you can provide for her for a while and if she would just do the things that she like if buy a pizza for your man after he just worked all day that's fucking good okay Give me some pretty, pretty good sex on my birthday. That's good times. I like that shit. You know what I mean? But the rest of it's fucking bullshit, man. I ain't got no, nobody got fucking time to be hearing it, man. Just fucking worked all day, and now I want to come home and fucking hear this shit. Like I'm fucking stupid. Yeah, you weren't gonna do shit. Get the fuck out of my chat. Block, block her. Get her out of here. Done with it, Courtney. Done with your shit. Okay, block her. Done with her. Done with her. Block her. Get her out of here. I don't want to hear any more excuses. I don't want to hear anything else from you. Okay, this is this is the truth right here. Taking my fucking coat back. Get the fuck out my shit. I ain't fucking, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You weren't going to get no goddamn factory job. Please. That would require you to go to work every fucking day, and you ain't going to do that. Ain't going to fucking happen. There is... You are never... I'm sorry. You aren't the 9 to 5 uh, workday person. You're just not. It's not going to ever happen like that. If you don't have five days off a week... Okay? It ain't gonna happen for you. Okay? And I'm glad you can find your little butt buddies to help you out and do that shit, but I'm not gonna be one of them anymore. Okay? And you know right now, I'm gonna tell you right now, that I fucking, I, I do care for you, even despite all of it. In some weird way, I don't know why I fucking do. But I, I just gotta distance myself at this point. And that's what it comes down to. There ain't no, it can't be no more, man. My, my fucking sanity can't fucking take it anymore. You come back into my shit, my fans have fucking seen it, I've been doing videos for how fucking long on here, and you'll come in, try to fucking weasel your way back in my shit, okay, and you're gonna act like it's me trying to get a hold of you all the time, you're coming up in my sh fucking streams, you're the one talking to, your, to me behind your man's back via email, okay, and I got the email saying how your fucking dude is, oh, I'm, I'm basically in this relationship, I guess, and basic i don't know what it is but you know he's giving me a place to stay okay so he's a he's your house man is what he is so you can have a house at least but he, he says he, he, she told me he's like the most annoying dude in the world and all this fucking shit okay i'm i'm the person to have to fucking hear that fucking shit okay but you, you know it, you know your fucking meal ticket's gonna be over when you get with me so you can't fucking have it ain't happening okay uh, she's over here for like two or three days. First two days are great. She's saying, oh man, like we just hit it off so quick after we get back together after all these years and stuff. And literally the third day, you don't do exactly what she wants you to do. When she wants to do it, you are a piece of garbage. Okay? It was last night, she wanted to fucking stream. I didn't feel good. She didn't feel good. I had heartburn like a mofo. Okay? I was horny, he was ready to fuck. I didn't feel like streaming, okay? Now I'm a piece of shit, okay? Now I'm just the biggest piece of shit in the world. She doesn't want to have anything to do with me now. So it's good, 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 good. We fucked like 47, 48 times, okay? It was, it was, it was sexageddon, okay? Sexocalypse up in this bitch. All day long. It was good times. Uh, I mean, we had fun. And then one fucking thing sets her off and then she just doesn't even like you anymore. Like, you're just a piece of shit. You know what I mean? And I was just like, are you fucking serious? I was like, you're gonna root, you're gonna ruin the entire fucking, the stay? Like, she kind of, I thought she was doing something really nice for me, right? So she's gonna come over and, on my birthday, and, you know, I was really feeling down about this turning 30 shit, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I just, I wasn't, I wasn't having it. I don't know, it was really bumming me out. And it's just like, man, did I really, did I do enough in my 20s, you know what I mean? So I start questioning, and I was like, man, maybe, 
maybe I just, my, my 20s, I was like, maybe I didn't have as much fun as I should have. Maybe I should have done this. Maybe I should have got married. Maybe I should have, you know, <clears throat> it's not a midlife crisis, but it's, it's something like that. You know, and I'm just like, man, you know, because you talk to girls now, you got to tell them you're 30. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It doesn't have the same ring as telling them you're in your teens or your 20s. And I'm, I'm, I'm coming down on myself about it. You know what I mean? And, you know, she comes in my life once again, calls me up, remembers my number, calls me up, you know, and gives me a really good birthday present. I mean, it was fun. We had fun. Let me tell you guys about these tongue rings, okay? Let me tell you about the tongue rings, bitches. Let me tell ya. That's about, that is just the bomb.com right there. I, I can't even tell you guys. You guys have got to get on <laughs> the fucking tongue ring action. That almost sent me into a goddamn motherfucking coma. Like, I was just, I was going into spasms. Like, burp, 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 burp. I couldn't even fucking take it. I mean... I know why bitches get tongue rings now. It's because their fucking men will fucking do whatever the fucking goddamn shit they'll say because they're going to get that fucking tongue ring action. <coughs> and that was <coughs> that was fun. Yeah, tongue rings are the best. Oh, my Jesus Christ. I'm still fucking... I, I still just go into, like, random spasms, you know what I mean? Like, I can barely even take it. But, yeah. So, any of my fans that are girls out there with tongue rings, call me up because we're going to have some fun. That was, I was awesome. So, I had that experience. I could put that, I could put that on my fucking uh, bucket list. Oh, Hellsinger, dude, you gotta get on them tongue. It gets you, all you guys with girlfriends, get them to get a tongue ring. I'm telling you, man, it'll change your fucking life. It ain't no fucking joke. So, had that, we had fun. Didn't get a chance to really go nowhere, do anything. I mean, that usually happens. Usually when we're hanging out, um... We're sneaking around at 6 o'clock in the morning so her boyfriend doesn't find out. I was like, I was like, why are we doing this? Um, like, you're, you're, this dude, like, you're literally just staying with this guy so he can give you st stuff? I mean, is that it? Okay? I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, I can give you a dick all fucking day. I mean, but you just can't take it. So you tap out from the dick. You know, I told you it's dick again. Okay? I bring, I'm, I'm laying it down. Okay? Fucking goddamn fucking, oh my god. <laughs> there's a dick cloud coming. Hey guys, you hear there's a dick cloud coming. <laughs> uh, that's just Silent Rob. I, I don't fuck around when it comes to fucking around, bitches. And, you know, she's the only one to ever fucking tap out in like two seconds. Most girls are fucking like, oh my god, this motherfucker can go all fucking day. You know, it just envelopes you, you know. The, the dick just fucking takes over your fucking body like it's just engulfs you you know what i mean and she's a fucking pussy about it i mean how often are you gonna get a guy that's just gonna fucking destroy you and that's what i fucking do man fucking rolling in fucking on rolling in on a tank is that a tank no it's his fucking dick dude don't even give me a give me a fucking break man i destroy i destroy cervixes okay i punch him in the face so give me a fucking break. These bitches don't know what the fuck's even going on. They're just... You know what I mean? Like, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, I'll puncture your fucking lungs with that shit. It ain't no fucking joke. <coughs> I mean, that's just... That's Silent Rob, bitches. That's the way I work. So, yeah. Destroying pussies for a long time. I don't remember the first year I destroyed a pussy. But usually I'm, I'm wrecking them. I'm wrecking them. And, you know, gotta deal with these fucking condoms and shit like that, you know what I mean? Because with the amount of bitches I fucking fuck with, <laughs> I'd just be one walking ST fucking D. You know, so I wouldn't want that. But, yeah, so it is what it is, you know? Go do what you gotta do. Go take advantage of whoever you gotta take advantage of. You know, go work 13 seconds in a week. You know, like, you know, whatever, you know, whatever you got to do, do it. But I, I'm done. There ain't going to be no more talking to you via email uh, because you can't fucking talk to me on a phone like a normal human being because your fucking meal ticket's going to find out. There ain't no more of that. Okay, it's over. Your chances have run dry. Okay, so just leave me alone.
I want to hear it. About how bad your fucking life is. We all got problems. Do something about it. Do something about it. Arby's ain't it. Okay? Fucking kidding me? You think a goddamn Reuben and a French dip's gonna solve all your shit? It ain't. Okay? Three strikes? She's had like 458 strikes. She's just swinging the bat like a fucking mad person, crazy person at the fucking goddamn plate. There ain't no fucking strikes for her. She's had plenty. Okay, so whatever. Jerk. Okay, my fucking family. Even my brother was just like, well, you know she's gonna do it to you again. I'm like, I know, dude, but tongue ring, no? Tongue ring, man. So, got that at least. Yeah, you can't, you know, fucking three hours a week, Arby's ain't fucking doing it. Sorry. Okay. Womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, go to a temp agency. Go to a fucking goddamn temp agency. What the fuck are you doing? Fucking kidding me? Jesus age, Christ almighty on a fucking pogo stick. Jesus. Fucking find change on the fucking ground at my fucking job I make more money than you. Jesus. Okay, you work at a fast food place and you can't even afford the fast food that they sell there. Okay? What the fuck is going on? This is madness. <laughs> if you can't afford the fast food that you're working at, you're working at the wrong place. Arby's expensive like a mofo. Okay, $12 for a fucking roast beef Sammy. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Go to a goddamn fucking restaurant. You know? <clears throat> I'm not one to usually... You know, like, uh, it is what it is. You, you know, people do what they gotta do, but... You know, you're just doing the bare fucking minimum. God damn, you got a fucking different job every fucking hour on the hour. I was like, oh my god, talk to you at 11 o'clock. You tell me you're working at Arby's. I talk to you at 3 o'clock. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? You're Walmart now? What the? When did that happen? I mean, is there a fucking hiring process or something? You're at Hothead at 4? Okay, you start your hot. What? Okay. Jesus. Holy shit. Okay, fucking, let's have the world record for the most jobs ever had in the entire world. Okay. Jesus. Fucking holy hell. You gotta you gotta go to work in order to keep a job. I mean, why what? Jesus. Ridiculous, man. You know, I don't think she's actually worked at Walmart, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's really, literally what it is. You know? But, no, she was cool, man. She was... You know, I was buddies with her. We had good times. The time we were together, there were a lot of... You know, I'd say the good times and the bad times about equaled out. But it got to the point where it didn't anymore. And you're just getting taken advantage of. You're getting fucking walked on. You're... She's being fucking shady, lying directly to your face, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, you, you know how that is when a girl's lying to you and you just let that bitch talk because you know she's fucking lying. Lying out her ass. Okay? Are you fucking kidding me? You know? You're gonna fucking tell me, y'all, you, you lived with a guy, a guy gave you a place to live and you're not fucking him? Bullshit! Get the fuck out of my face! Of course you're fucking him. Boop! I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay? That's the way she thinks everybody is. She must think everybody's just got fucking half a brain cell drooling all over themselves. Because what the fuck? Okay? Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, ba ba. Okay? You don't keep your phone within, with a, you know, within like a three inch, three inch fucking uh, reach of you. Okay, can't lose track of that phone because one of your goddamn fucking penises is gonna be calling pretty soon. Oh, I got a penis. Oh, I got. 
Oh, I gotta work 30 seconds. I gotta go to work for 30 seconds at Arby's and then I gotta go fuck 13 dicks in a row. Okay? What the fuck? Okay? Well, the gas money to getting to the place is more than what you're making in the day. Okay? Get it? Together! Can't even believe it. Taking out the trash. Preaching the gospel. Ain't no more chances. No more. Jesus age motherfucking almighty. And there ain't even everything. I'm not even gonna tell you guys everything. I'm better than that. But you know what? I said what I fucking said, and I think I fucking laid it down, and there you have it. And you can fucking make up any fucking excuses you want. Everybody fucking knows. How can anybody hear what I just said and interpret it in any other way? They can't. You fucked me over once again. Good on you. Okay? Block me on your Facebook. Okay? Fuck your Facebook with fucking one and a half people on it. And 378 people that are blocked. Oh, I wonder why you got so many people blocked. Could it be because everybody fucking hates you? Can't fucking stand to even look at your face? Okay? Maybe that's it. Never seen somebody walk into a fucking store and can't go down 13 of the 14 aisles because there's somebody in that aisle that she don't like. Okay? I'm starting to think it's you. Ah, I'm just putting two and two together. But I'm starting to think it's you. Okay? Everybody in the world... How do you how do you get into an argument with everybody that's ever existed? I was like, oh, you don't like this person? That person's dead, babe. She's, he's dead. He hasn't even been alive for many years. How can you even be in a fight with this person? Okay? Okay, what do you mean you, you and Abraham Lincoln are arguing now? How is that happening? How does that happen that you're arguing with Abraham Lincoln? Motherfucker's been dead since the 1800s, okay? What do you mean he owes you money? Sick and tired of it. It's always something. Get the fuck out of here with your fucking shit. Jesus. Fucking almighty lord. Every fucking day is goddamn fucking catastrophe. Can't just go to work, come home, and exist. Everything has to be a fucking fiasco. Never seen anything like it in my entire fucking goddamn life. Jesus. Age Christ. That's my life, people. That's what I deal with. I deal with people, you know. Some that's why some of my online friends are, you know, I like I like I like you guys more than a lot of these people I fucking deal with in real life. Okay, because at least you guys ain't out to fuck me. Okay, not even the way I like. Out to fuck me over constantly. Okay, how can I take advantage of Rob today? Rob's a nice guy. Okay, let's go fuck with Rob. Okay, let's go. Oh, can I, you know, give me $40, give me this, take me here, buy me a pack of cigarettes every goddamn six seconds because you smoke fucking cigarettes like a goddamn Californian wildfire. Never even seen anything like it in my entire fucking life. Okay? Jesus age Christ. Your lungs are fucking screaming for fucking help. You know, you fucking talk and smoke just comes out your fucking goddamn eyes. It's just, it's just engulfs you. You smell like a fucking ashtray. Get it together. Disgusting. You smell like loogies and cigs. Okay, yeah, let's cuddle up. Let's cuddle up. Oh, no, let's have sex. Even though you smell like fuck. Okay? No money ever. No money ever. Never happens, no money. Nope. 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 Hey, we're gonna hang out. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to buy me this, 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 and this, 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 and this, and this. Oh, well, well that figures. Uh, can we just hang out and watch some movies and just be together? No, I need this. We gotta go to Walmart and buy this. Oh, I need this. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, oh, I'll suck your dick for a nickel. Okay. Gotta have that. Give me a nickel. Okay. Hey, what do you got? Give it to me. Y'all, you, you, you got Coke? I want I want Mountain Dew. We gotta go get Mountain Dew now. Oh, we gotta go get Mountain Dew when it's five degrees outside? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Hooray! Yeah, that's what I want to do when I get home from work. 
is to take you to get some fucking Mountain Dew, even though we got a 12 pack of fucking Coke in the fridge, food on the fucking table, we ain't gotta go nowhere, but let's go walk around Walmart, because that fucking sounds good, yeah, buy me this, buy me that, baby, 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 okay, because fucking I just take dumps of fucking money every fucking day, you know, I definitely like to buy you shit while you're uh, texting some dude then trying to fucking get money from him, and like, whatever, where's the tongue ring at? I don't even want to hear anything but the clanking of your tongue ring on my dick. Because that's it. There's not, never, never again, never again, never again, never again, never fucking again. So, that's that, bitches. I just had a mental breakdown. I think I just had a mental breakdown. I don't think I've ever had such a mental breakdown on a stream before. I have a feeling this is going to be a good stream. <laughs> going back and listening to this one. Fool me once. Fool me twice. Fool me four, 14 fucking times? Nope. Not fool me no more. God fool, fool, fool me. You didn't even fool me the first time. You did not even fool me the first time. Okay? I'm unfoolable. I know what's going on. I'm telling you. It happens. Yeah, I'm going full-on fucking goddamn crazy, man. Because I cannot fucking believe the way people take advantage of people. Like, what goes on in somebody's head? What goes on in somebody's head when they are staying at your place free of charge, okay? They would have nowhere else to go. They would not have anywhere else to stay if you did not let them stay there. And it seems like a good idea to them to cheat on you, okay? And you wonder why I don't want to cuddle with you? You make me sick. Sorry only gets you so far when you do the same shit every day. You know, I need a fucking, I damn right I need a fucking drink. Okay? I need a fucking horse tranquilizer. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, these bitches, I, you know, I got dick here. Bitches, come get it. I ain't even going for it anymore. If you bitches want the dick, just come get it. Okay, I'm not even bringing it to you anymore. I'm not even fucking, I'm not getting up. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna sit here. It'll show up eventually. Because I'm telling you, bitches. I'm gonna drink one of these disgusting Cokes that I had to hear 15 minutes of fucking goddamn bitching because we had Coke. Oh! like coke i don't like coke okay well that's all we got so either drink coke or go fucking drink a dick okay because i don't want to hear all we have is coke you really want to go out negative 45 degrees so we can get a mountain dew for you okay that sounds like fun yeah I just work nine hours fuck it let's go get some mountain dew fucking three o'clock in the morning fucking holy hell because that's what i want to do and then I'm not, oh, I'm not affectionate enough. Are you fucking serious? We've been attached to the waist since you got here. What more do I need to fucking do? Do I just need to be inside you the entire time? I mean, fucking Christ, man. 30-year-old man. I am fucking, I can't, I'm done about done with these dates, man. You bitches have no idea. I've been on so many fucking dates. I've been on, I went on a date and then later on in the day I went on a date. And then I had a date on top of that date. And dates all fucking day, man. That's just the way it is. I can't fucking, I can't take these fucking hoes no more. Crack, fucking, they're making me crack, man. Why is it so difficult just to get a goddamn fucking girl that just treats you fucking halfway decent? Why? What the fuck? Okay, I, I'm just, I, I'm literally, like, not a bad dude here, people. I'm telling you, nobody treats a bitch as good as me. I take them out. I take a bitch out. I'll take her to McDonald's, bitches, okay? I, I don't even take them, to, I don't even take them to fucking, that bullshit Olive Garden, okay? That's the, you know, that's that, that's the fucking poser's way out is that Olive Garden shit. I, I'll take a bitch out for sushi, man. I'll take a bitch to the mall buying some shit. You know, I'll fucking take a bitch to the goddamn planetarium. I'll fucking, we'll, we'll ride a rock, fucking rocket to Mars. I don't give a fuck, okay? I do it all. I spend money on them hoes. 
You know, I treat them good. It is what it is. If you don't, you know, you ain't getting no goddamn hot ass taking a bitch to fucking Burger King, okay? Yeah. Okay, I wonder why she didn't put out. Well, you know, you bought her a Whopper, motherfucker. That's why. She had to puke afterwards the whole rest of the fucking night. Nobody wants to fucking do that all fucking night. <coughs> you know? I've been on some fucking fat bitch dates. Let me tell you guys about my fat bitch dates. I've been on a lot of fat bitch dates, but I go... And I fucking get catfished, and I fucking show up, and there's a fucking fat bitch, all like, here, here we go, ba -ba -ba, okay? Any normal guy would drive off, okay? No, I'll treat that fucking bitch, okay? I'll take, I'll take her out. I took a couple big girls out. I'm not gonna just leave them. I'm not that type of guy, okay? But I ain't touching them. <laughs> I ain't really looking at them much. And, but, you know, we ha have a good time, you know, it is what it is, you know, I fucked up, and I just write it off as like a $30 loss, you know what I mean? But, I go out with a girl who looks fucking fine, man, I fucking treat her good, and it is what it is. Do I play video games? You're fucking right I do, because I worked all fucking day, and if I want to play video games, I'm going to play video games. Okay, I don't want to just sit here and listen to your stupid fucking country music blaring out your goddamn four dollar phone that you got at walmart like 16 seconds ago because you lost your other one because you change your number every fucking goddamn time you change your socks okay yeah that's fun for me let's just sit here and listen to your fucking stupid ass country music which you know i can't fucking stand that would be like me uh blaring your fucking nine inch nails all fucking day long when i know you don't like that but i don't fucking do it okay because that's what, I, what a fucking goddamn halfway decent person does you just plump fucking pump your garbage into their fucking ears and they don't even want to hear it. Okay? Yeah, that's fun for me. I'll just sit here and listen to your music. Or let's... You can show me some pictures of you even though you're sitting right fucking next to me. That sounds like fun, don't it? Let's do that. Okay? I know what you look like. Know why? I'll give you a hint. It's because you're in the room, bitch. Okay? Are you fucking kidding me? What's wrong with you? You break my $150 handheld, and it's like, whatever? Not even gonna remotely attempt to pay him one fucking dollar of it back? Okay? Nah, it's cool. I break $150 handhelds every fucking day. Okay? The fuck? Whatever, $150 ain't nothing, right? Okay? That's like four months of working for you. Okay? I, you work for four months, you make that. Break my shit, you come in, you eat my food, you fucking hack all over my shit, you smoke my fucking place out with cigarettes, smoke, can't even breathe. Okay? And I wanna fuck a few times, and uh, yeah, I should get a fucking piece of ass after that. Okay? And that part was at least fucking good. You know? But it, fuck, dude. It's like having a kid, exactly, man. What the fuck am I getting out of this? Taking care of you. Okay? I ain't the right guy for you. I ain't the right guy for you because I ain't taking care of you. I want a fucking woman, man. Okay? I don't want a fucking little kid running around the fucking house. Fucking bullshit, man. Work every day? You're fine with somebody working every fucking day and you don't? You're fine with fucking other people taking care of your kids? Fuck you. Fucking kidding me? Holy Christ. She could be fucking good, man. Sparky was a, did the same fucking shit, man. Sparky's down the same road, man. Sparky was just fucking weird. You know, that's that's what Sparky was about. She was fucking weird. She got into that weird kinky fucking shit, and that's cool and all, but... You know, she had this poly thing where... She's polyamorous, which basically just gives her an excuse to be a fucking dumpster. So, I'm like, she's like, oh, you're my main guy, okay? Because I, I went over and fucked her, and I'm like her main guy, or whatever, but she has these other dudes call. I'm like, I'm like do you really think I'm going to be okay with us hanging out, doing this, and then you're going to go fuck other dudes? I was like, this is not going to happen, you know what I mean? And it just, it fucking didn't happen. She's like, hey, you want to go to this, like, whips and chains party and hang off the ceiling and shit? I'm like, motherfucker, what this Fifty Shades of Grey shit? Okay, I'll tie you up, you know, I'll do that kind of shit, but... I ain't gonna have some goddamn fucking motherfucking goddamn Arnold Schwarzenegger looking motherfucker beat me with a whip or some shit. What the fuck is wrong with you?
Okay, why can't we just fuck? Like, wh why are these crazy bitches everywhere, man? You know, it's just fucking, that poly thing is the fucking stupidest shit. It's just an excuse for a girl to go out and suck a bunch of dicks like a fucking circus seal. Yeah, a fucking break. Polly, didn't know guy wants to put up with that shit. What's a guy gonna get out of that, okay? What the fuck, you know, all, I, the, the height of it is maybe having a threesome? Gives a fuck, man, I'm good with one fucking girl. You know, I'm good with, I, I, I have to focus, I gotta get my, my, my focus on that shit. I get in the zone, you know? But Sparky, nah, man, it's whatever with her, man. I knew it wasn't gonna fucking last. You know, it wasn't enough that I had to drive an hour to even see her, okay? Because she lived in fucking uh, Indiana. She lived in Richmond. So I had to fucking go to an hour away to fucking see her. And somehow that's not good enough. And we would still get into a little petty bullshit when I would get over there. And I have to hear her stupid shit, okay? And have to see all these fucking dudes coming over that are supposedly her friends, but you don't fucking know because she's fucking having a different dick every night, okay? You ain't that fucking hot to be thinking you can go out slutting it up like you do, okay? Sparky. So, whatever. I don't want a conservative girl either because I don't like shy fucking bitches. And I don't like religious fucking bitches. Okay? So, yeah. I mean, I, I've... You know, and these, these fucking crazy bitches, man. I'm just fucking so sick and tired of it. They're bitches with children all over the place, man. Like, fucking Christ almighty. Okay, you, you get with me, and you fucking cheat on me with this loser who ends up getting, getting you in a car crash that almost killed you and your baby at the same time you were on death's fucking doorstep. In that car crash that you shouldn't even been in in the fucking first place had you not just been a fucking cheater. Okay? Cheats on me. Like one week later is pregnant by this dude. I was like, well, you were just fucking like rabbits, weren't you? God damn. Okay, but it's my fault. You know, and you bitches wonder why I'm bitter sometimes, you know, when I got people in my fucking life that do shit like that. You know what I mean? You know, how, how, how many fucking times, I mean, how many times can you get a person out to shit? Help a person out? You know, we're, give, give me a fucking hot-ass fan. Give me, one, one of you guys live near, near Ohio, like, one, if, you're, if you're sexy, I don't even ask for much. Just don't be really super big. Do you got a job? Cool, okay, let's hang out. That's really all I want. Why is that so hard to ask? What is wrong with you bitches, man? Why? Why can't you... What the fuck? Why do you keep having kids when you can't take care of them? What is wrong with you, okay? It's called a condom, bitch. You know, the motherfucker, can he pull out? Like, I mean, at least try that. Jesus Christ, got a fucking train running on your ass fucking 13 fucking hours a day. Fucking cum dump. Fucking serious? 90% of these POF girls are fat slobs, man. Okay, I'm a fat slob magnet. I put my shit on there. I get 20 fat slobs in fucking 19 seconds. 20 and 19 seconds. You lived in, yeah, one of you, like, one of you hot-ass girls need to fucking move to Ohio and get with me and fucking let me treat you good and spoil you and fucking hang out with you and fucking, you know, hit that fucking ass every fucking second of the day. You know what I mean? Because that's what I fucking do. The only thing I ask for is you go to work every day and you don't be a fucking slut. Okay? Two fucking rules. Hey, throw driving in on that bitch, too. I ain't asking for much. But no, guess I can't have that. Okay, I guess I can't have that. Oh, God, fucking take care of these bitches. You know. If I can fucking do it, you bitches can do it too. It ain't that fucking difficult. Wake up and go to work every day. Okay, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck? Got a fucking food stamp card. Fucking bullshit. Okay, I, are, you, are you fully capable of working? Yes, you are. Then what the fuck are you doing with a food stamp card? Because you're technically homeless because you live in everybody's fucking bathrooms and outhouses and shit. Out your mind. This ain't the fucking real world. 
Okay? You wanna fucking stream with me? You wanna fuck come back in my life for two fucking seconds and try to fuck my shit up? What the fuck did you even bother even coming by? You know, I'm glad you did. Tongue ring bitches. However, could have done without it. Okay, that's what you do. You come over, you tell me about these pieces of garbage that you got with, and now oh, this guy beat you, and this guy strangled you, and smashed your glasses, and broke your phone, and raped your butt, and broke you in half, and lit you on fire, and I'm just sitting here like, oh, yeah, really? Well, huh? I wouldn't have done any of those things. Not fucking one. And I'm sitting here chilling with my big dick, fucking chilling, hanging off in, on the fucking floor. It hits the fucking floor when I take my pants off. Chilling here with that. That's cool. You know, go get with that dude. You know, oh, we gotta go visit him in prison? Okay, have fun with that. Sounds like a good dude. Oh, it wasn't his fault when that he head-on crashed with a motherfucker when he was trying to pass somebody. Oh, yeah, well, when you pass somebody on a double yellow line and it's fucking pitch black and you can't fucking see, there's a goddamn chance you're gonna fucking have a head-on crash. You know what this is? It's called life, okay? And then when you're high on fucking weed when you do it, that's another problem, okay? Prison, bitch. You're lucky that motherfucker didn't kill that guy in that fucking car, because you'd never get out that bitch. Give me a fucking break. Bring me some fucking Arby's. Full on fucking ridiculous. How the fuck she talks these fucking dudes into fucking doing this shit, man? I know what it is. That fucking tongue ring, man, motherfucker. Motherfucker can bring peace on earth. That fucking tongue ring, let me tell you. I tell you what, this might be one of my best streams. <laughs> this has been a gym dandy of a stream. 140 people up in this bitch. <laughs> Hearing me bitch and complain, man. That's why I'm telling you, I need to get, I just need to get a podcast on. Fuck this playing games. I'll just fucking sit here and bitch. <clears throat> about these sluts. Everybody wants to feel sorry for this girl. Give me a fucking break. I fucking feel sorry for you. You fucking did it to yourself. You know? Can't fucking believe these dumb bitches, man. Can't even fucking believe it. I've had fucking fans. I had a, I had a girl fan drive across two fucking states to suck my fucking dick. This year. That girl drove two fucking state lines come suck a dick. Okay, I had a good fucking year, bitches. Okay? I'm telling you right now, this is a goddamn excellent year. And now she wasn't gross. She was she was a good looking girl. She got on a bus and got on like another bus to come down here and eat a dick. And that was a that was a good day, bitches. That was pretty much it. I didn't even do anything to her. <laughs> you know, she had this virgin thing going on or some bullshit. She's like twenty six years old virgin. I was like, get the fuck out of here. But she'd suck a dick all day long. You know? <laughs> yeah, and I was like, yeah, come on down. Got this dick here. <clears throat> you know? That's another thing, man. Fucking that girl, she'd be in here fucking burping and farting. And yeah, nothing turns a guy on like hearing their fucking girl fucking shit in their pants and burping like they're going to puke all over themselves over next to you. Yeah, come here. Let's have us make out now. That sounds, that's really good. Okay? No fucking guy wants to fucking see that shit. Get your shit together. Okay, in my fucking alternate reality, bitches don't fucking fart and bitches don't shit. The bitches don't do that shit. Act like a goddamn girl. What the fuck? Out of your fucking minds, man. Two seconds away from having a dick. Jesus. Hung out with dudes that weren't as gross as her, man. I swear to fucking Christ. Spitting in a fucking... Here over there, I was like, oh my god. I was like, get the cigarette out your fucking larynx. Okay? He's got a cigarette, just, he's just fucking just puts it in her throat. She's got one of those fucking Beetlejuice bitches like... Rap. I need a pack of cigarettes, rap. Okay? The fuck out my shit. Fucking kidding me? You don't need any more cigarettes. I'm cutting you off. Crazy shit. Just bathe in cigarettes. 
fucking smell like a fucking overturned outhouse on top of a fucking ashtray. Shit. Fucking went to the bathroom when I got home and fucking stepped on one of your nasty ass fucking hawk loogie rags. Okay? Probably come down with goddamn anthrax or whatever the fuck you had. Jesus. Wonder why I'm not cuddling with you. What? You're covered in mucus. Mucus all over you. I mean, why do I even have to tell you that? It's fucking true facts all day. Want to fucking hug a loogie? I'm a grown ass man. I'm out of your fucking mind. Fucking trachea collapsers all around. Jesus fuck. Can't fucking go. Oh, can't go there. Girl I hate works there. Girl I hate works here. Okay. Well, I hate you too. So get the fuck out of my apartment. Over it. Jeez. Fuck. Man. I'm trying to fuck my shit up again, man. Why? Why? What the fuck? Are you ever gonna fucking goddamn... It was so bad, I when I fucking dated her the goddamn first time, it was so fucking bad that her fucking goddamn mom even called me up. Her mom called me up and was like, Yeah, I gotta... I gotta be uh, honest with you. Like, my daughter dates a lot of guys. Uh, she's always having guys come over. I was like, I'm like, are you telling me as her mom right now that she's a fucking cheating lying whore? I was like, either that or you're trying to get with me, and I mean, either one, what the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ. I just can't even fucking believe it, man. This girl shit her fucking pants one day. This girl shit her fucking pants, people. I am not even remotely lying to you. This girl, grown-ass motherfucker, gets up, gonna go to work, okay? I'm asleep, half asleep. I hear her fucking go out the fucking door. And I get a message on my motherfucking phone saying, you gotta come get me right now. I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, you gotta come get me right now. Like, I'm on, like, Samson Street or whatever the fuck it was. I was like, I was like why aren't you at work? She's like, I didn't make it. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, I shit my pants, come get me right now. I was like, what? <laughs> what the you know what I mean? Like, and I had my fucking MR2 at the time. I was like, you're not shitting your pants and sitting in my fucking car? Oh my god. I was like, I, oh, I'm, I'm having a stroke even thinking about it. It, it smells so bad. <laughs> it smells so fucking bad. She shit her pants. And I, I, I didn't kill her, you know? I let her live. I let her live. Like, how fucking more can somebody do to somebody? I let her fucking sit in my car, and my car fucking stunk like a sewage septic tank for fucking three weeks. Okay, whatever, buy me a pack of cigarettes. Buy me a pack of cigarettes, boop, boop. Okay, fucking shit nicotine cloud coming, what the fuck? Jesus, fuck. Fucking bullshit, and you all, let's cuddle. Well, you just... Hawked all over yourself, you smell like smoke, and you shake your pants. Yeah, let's cuddle. Let's cuddle up, baby. I love you, baby. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> oh, I saw the red flags, bitches. Tongue ring, bitches. Tongue ring. And that might have been after the fact, but we still had fun back then, too. It's hard to say no when you're some... <laughs> A girl's just gonna bring you the pussy. You know, you don't even have to go get it. You know what I mean? She'll get dropped off. I mean, how are you gonna say no to that? How are you gonna say no to a girl calling you up, be like, oh, I'm gonna come uh, eat your dick for a while? I was like, all right. <laughs> Who's gonna do that? Who's gonna say no? Who's gonna be like, nah, I'm good. My dick's good. Nah. Every time. Come get it. So there you have it, bitches. It's taking out the trash. Stream. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's fucking cuddle. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. <laughs> People have almost said that. They've almost pissed their pants. <laughs> oh, bitches.
This was fun, bitches. I think I'm gonna call it though. I need to. I gotta take a shower or something. I gotta cool off. <laughs> a stream for the ages, bitches. I didn't even play half the fucking time. Holy shit. Best stream ever. Awesome. I had to take out the garbage. Alright, bitches. <laughs> Can't wait to listen to this one. Alright, guys. You guys take it easy. I'm out. Wonder, remember.